First of all, lie down onto your back, onto your mat. I'd like you just to feel the floor underneath you. Bring your feet hip width apart, knees bent at around 90 degrees. And I'd just like you to feel the floor underneath your feet. Feel where you have contact of your body through the floor. It's lovely to do it outside, so you can feel that contact with the earth. Your hips, knees and feet are hip width apart. Think about tram lines. Think about just lifting up through the arches just a little bit to support the feet, just a tiny bit. I'm going to talk about the positioning from the top down. We're going to tuck through the back of the neck, uh, lengthen the back of the neck, tuck through the chin. Open out through the front of the chest. Just feel where you have tightnesses. Don't push into those tightnesses, just feel where things are a little bit restricted. Back off a little bit if it's uncomfortable. Pull the shoulder blades down the chest wall at the back. Melting the ribs down into the floor. Sometimes it just helps to do a little breath. In and out and melt those ribs down into the floor. We're just going to do a few pelvic tilts. Feel the range of motion that you have through the pelvis here. Tucking under all the way and arching through the back. Just a couple of times. Just finding and feeling what that range feels like. Trying to hold on to some of these positions as you do it, opening the chest, melting the ribs down. Just finding that neutral. Neutral is somewhere in between as you rock backwards and forwards. Take a breath in this position. Just breathing in and out through the lower outer lungs into these lower ribs here. Sometimes it helps to put your hands there. Keeping those ribs melted down into the floor. Remind yourself of your feet on the floor. Remind yourself of all the positioning. And then I'd just like you to think about tightening through the pelvic floor. Just think about a tighten over five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then relax again. If you're thinking about an elevator lifting up through five floors, think about tightening. One, two, three, four, five. If you just put your fingers just inside your, um, your hip bone on the front here, into your tummy, tighten again. One, two, three, four, five. And once you've got that tightening, try and hold it for 10 seconds or 10 breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's do five breaths. through your nose again and out through your mouth and through your nose and out through your mouth brilliant now you might be wondering whether all of your body positions are as you set them so I'd like you to go through it all again tucking the chin left the back of the neck open out through the front of the chest draw those shoulders down away from the ears Melt the ribs down. Find that little arch in the lower back. Settle there. Tighten through the pelvic floor. Five seconds. Two, three, four, five. And try and hold for ten breaths. One. Two, remember into the lower outer lungs. Three, remember to keep the ribs down. Four, think about opening out the chest. Five, shoulders down away from the ears. tucking the chin. Six, 
seven, remind yourself of that pelvic floor. Eight, just think about your feet on the floor. Nine, think about your alignment. And ten, just slow your breath down and think about it coming in through the nose. Circling around in the head. And relax it out through your mouth. Okay, once we're nicely set, we're just going to do a couple of roll-ups. So tuck under, curling all the way up and all the way back down again. Just a lovely way of releasing off of that tension in the back through tightening through the pelvic floor. Tuck under, curling up and tuck under and curl back down again. Last one of these, tuck under, curl up, breathing in. And breathe out as you place one vertebra down on the floor. Okay, so just the last thing to think about here. I'd like you to breathe in. Breathe out and set the ribs. Breathe in, tighten through the pelvic floor. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in, lift the leg. Breathe out and lower. Feel the floor through that leg. Breathe in. Breathe the other leg. Breathe out and lower. Now I'd just like you to let your breaths come naturally now. We're going to think about this movement a little bit more. So I'd just like you to bring this leg up to tabletop. We're trying to keep the hips stable. Leg comes down. Down into the floor. Peel up the other one. Bring that leg back down to take that uh, down to the floor. Push down a little bit into it. Peel up the other. Thinking about that pelvic floor, just gently squeezing, just helping out your stability there. Take a moment now to recheck your positioning. Tuck the chin. Open the chest, pull those shoulders down, ribs down, find that little arch in the back, and just continue with this nice flowing movement. Try to clear the head of any thoughts you've got going on. Bring yourself back into your body and what your body's trying to do, just these lovely lifts and lowers. that breathing. Just a couple more of these. Just like you to bring your hands behind your head and bring your chin to your chest just to stretch a little bit through the head and the neck. Release and off some Tuck the chin, let it come back. You can feel a little bit of extra tension going on through here through the abs. So with the head down, we're going to stretch from the other side. One leg in towards your chest, the other one. And just breathe out and pull those knees in towards the chest, stretching out the back and the hips. You can circle them round. Feeling the contact of your sacrum, the lower back on the floor. One leg down at a time. And then we're just going to stretch out both legs, both arms. Pull the toes up, stretching through the calves. Just a couple of breaths in that position. And we're just going to relax. It could be here, it could be arms down by your side, it could be with the knees bent, it could be on your side. 
If you know any meditation exercises, now is the time to do it. If not, just concentrate on that breathing again. Relaxed position. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 